Hello, this is Jay Prakash. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel, Big Data Hands-On Training. And today we are going to see how to import Flume streaming data into our HDFS. So this is one of a very important use case where you need to uh, pull in the real time of uh, streaming data uh, from all of our social media websites like you know Facebook, Twitter. So this is one of a uh, very important use case where it is you know completely a weblog. Uh, you know keep on getting generated and streamed and we need to get all this high velocity data into our HDFS for our further data analytics. Let us see how to write a MapReduce program on top of the you know imported uh, web blog file later but the first step uh, first and foremost step is we need to get the streaming data into HDFS so we are going to see that today. So I created a Flume configuration agent. So the input source is Twitter. Before doing that, let me go and explain. And there is an application management uh, uh, app for Twitter where you need to go and create a new app. If you create a new app, it will you know keep on asking for some information and after creating this is how it will be so your keys and access tokens will be generating there are four important parameters so you should know customer key customer secret your access token and access token secret so these four parameters you must uh, give it over here and the rest all the information you know it is being actually constant or default you can refer the documentation and take it and these four parameters you will be configuring your uh, twitter app and you will be getting it and you have to mention the hdfs path your source is going to be twitter your uh, destination your sync is going to be your hdfs and this is the full path where you want the tweets to be stored so in in our case it is going to be this path user cloudera hands-on and flume so this is your configuration file and you can refer all the information about these parameters you know how to control the output you know um, i mean the commits or roll count and roll size uh, so after uh, reaching a particular point uh, how many KBs it, it need to be fleshed out as a new file so all this information you can refer the documentation but let's see at a high level uh, how to do it so this is being the syntax so flume ng agent I'm invoking this agent this is a twitter agent so let me hit and enter So it will start the agent. So it has started pulling the data from Twitter AP, uh, streaming data into HDFS. If you go and see our new file browser, let us refresh data getting started loading let's see so the data is keep on getting loaded yep so us text so this is your twitter web blog so on top of it you need to write your java map reduce program to get it to some structure so this is this is as we discussed big data high velocity and variety so both these two things are combined in this data so high velocity so tweets are keep on getting generated tweets keep getting generated and uh, at the same time it's a variety so it is a json tweets are json and also it is totally unstructured so this has been a challenge to analyze it and uh, it's completely a web blog you have to use various you know techniques like map reduce and uh, regulation expre um, expressions so 
and all all these techniques uh, you have to use to get into some uh, proper structure you know getting into a proper structure it's been a difficult thing to do from this stage and from there you know after getting into the structure we can do some analytics on top of it so let's go back and see how long it gets generated it keeps on getting generated because tweets are pretty large so it it's it it has been a streaming data it, it actually keeps on getting logged in so if we could see after some time based on the parameters we have given it will it will create a next file so after some point of time after 1.6 gb i mean mb a next file getting generated so this is the feature of your flume so you can control the parameters based on you know um, capacity transaction capacity batch size role size and all these things you can refer to the documentation so so this is it guys so in this video we have seen how to use uh, the flume configuration agent to to get our streaming data from twitter into hdfs and later we can see some point of time how to write a map produce program on top of this file to get into a meaningful structure and from there we can do further analytics so if you like this video please like uh, share to your friends and put some comments and most importantly please subscribe thank you so much